Let's see another data type in X++ programming language, what we call as a GUID. A GUID, a globally unique identifier, is a 16 byte or a 128-bit integer that can be used across all computers and networks wherever a unique identifier is required. Such as a number has a very low probability for being a duplicate. So whenever we require a very unique identifier, then we can use a GUID to create a, this unique identifier for us. So there are a string representation of a GUID, and here are two examples of a string literal that can be a valid representation of a GUID. If you want to generate a GUID from a string, so here are the example that we can follow. We can see one is without a uh, opening bracket over here we have a curly bracket opening and closing over here but here we don't have so these are the two valid example that we can use so there are some string and the string representation of a GUID must follow the restriction described in the following table so let's see what are the restriction that we need to follow to generate a GUID through a string representation so the number of digit over here is must have a 32 hexadecimal digit and the next thing is the dash. Uh, the dashes must have a four dash character embedded at a location of eight. So after eight character, we need to have a one dash. And another one is a four. And another four, four, and twelve. So we need to have eight, four, 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 and twelve character. Yep. And in we after eight character, we have one dash. And after four character we have one dash four one dash four one dash and after that 12. so here is a braces and it is an optional to have a string that is started in with a uh, braces so if we have over here you can see we have an example over here this one and the next thing is the length the length the string must have a total of either 36 or a 38 character depending on whether a braces are added so if the the braces is not added then the total should be 36 over here and if the braces is added then we need to have a 38 character the length of a string should be of 38 and another one is uh, casing the hexadecimal digit a to f or a to f can be either uppercase or lowercase or mixed so whenever we create our GUID to a string literal then we need to follow this rule so the hexadecimal last is hexadecimal digit we take from a to f it can be either a uppercase or a lowercase so here is an uppercase and we also have a lowercase lowercase and uppercase so these are the basic rules that we need to follow to create a GUID from a string representation. So on the next lesson, we'll go and see on a practical way how we to generate a GUIDs in X++. So I will see you in the next video. Till then, have a great day.